Welcome back to the Man Advantage Rangers podcast, guys. This is your host, Jamie, coming here uh, on a Saturday evening. I just got done watching the uh, replay of the Rangers game. Uh, didn't have a chance to watch it live. I was at work. So we're going to uh, go over uh, today's game and the last two. Uh, and we're here to talk about it. So let's go. All right, guys, we are back with the Man Advantage Rangers podcast. Thanks for joining me this evening. Uh, big Rangers victory down in uh, Dallas afternoon game. So, okay, let's start at the beginning. Rangers go down one to nothing very early on on a uh, sort of a bad giveaway. Uh, Panarin, it was, Puck was kind of in his skates and right at the blue line. This is where everything bad that's been happening for the most part this year, it's been at the blue line. So they go down one nothing, and then uh, the Rangers did tie it. Kreider got a garbage goal. Um, but it doesn't matter. I mean, at this point, when you don't haven't been scoring, you could take goals any way they, they come. But I'll just say this. Uh, I watched the game. I knew the Rangers had won. So just, just watching the game and the eye test, I will say that two or three guys that stood out to me were Kako, and this is in no particular order. I'll just say Kako, Julian Gauthier, and I thought, even though he wasn't on the score sheet, I thought Lafreniere did a lot of good things. Uh, um, and this goes without saying, like, Zibanejad had a goal, and, and of course, um, Trocek had two, and uh, Panarin had a, a couple of nice plays, but, you know, Lafreniere only had an assist. I, I saw him block a shot. You know, he won some board battles. Kako looks like a totally different player. He comes in, he, his skating looks much improved. He just looks like he belongs now. And when he goes along the boards, you expect him to come out of the, out of the corner, behind the net, wherever that, wherever that may be with the puck. So that line is really, really working. The, the Kreider, the Binajad, Kako line is really working today. Uh, it worked today. And, and then Julian Gauthier, ever since he got called back up the last two games, he's been very noticeable. And, you know, we always kind of give him a tough time because he can't finish, and, and and rightfully so. But he did. He made an incredible play today and this was rewarded for a goal. And, and he had an assist. He had a, a, a the primary assist on Zach Jones' game-winning goal, which was Zach Jones' first NHL goal. So congratulations to Zach Jones. Sure, happy to see him get on the scoreboard and contribute. I'm sure that feels really, really good to him. It was also the uh, he got the Broadway hat, so good for him. Um, you know, I thought this game. You know, there, there was no Ryan Reeves, so the bottom six looked like the fourth line was Gautier, Carpenter, and Blay, and then the third line was VC, Kravtsov, and Goudreau. Of course, Philip Hedl's not playing, and you know, Kravtsov gets hurt near the end of the second and that didn't look good so again it seems like every game the rangers are losing a guy during the game and having to uh you know rotate 11 forwards but 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 overall i i just thought that the rangers did well five on five I, you know they had their moments the defensively again we got to tighten this up and gallant did change uh the pairs in the third and that seemed to work a little bit, spark the team. I, I just think there's there's so much talent on this team. And, you know, I know that they're, they're saying, well, a lot of the people on Twitter, uh, and I and I understand the argument, like, oh, Kreider's not going to score 52 goals. And I, I don't think he is. Uh, you know, 30 to 35 goals, and, and I, we have to replace those. But Trocek's got four already. Zabinichad's scoring more. Um. I expect more from Kako, more from Lafreniere. Um, and maybe we get some more um, bottom six scoring. So we'll, we'll see. Tomorrow we have Arizona. 
another back-to-back game. These, these back-to-back games, what well, what gives? Um, but overall, I was happy with the way they played. Dallas has been a good team so far this year. So that's a big road win. Uh, Nils Lundqvist, you know, I'm glad he's playing in Dallas and, and uh, in the NHL. Um, we wish him well. Took a penalty today. Uh, I think he was on the ice for at least one goal. So, um, overall, a good win. I thought Trocek played well. There were some amazing plays. The goaltending was good. Ottinger went out, and I'm not sure. that I know they said it was a lower body injury. Of course, that could be a hangnail. It could be a knee. It could be an ankle. No, it could be a groin. You just don't know uh, with the way NHL and their and their um, the way they classify uh, injuries. But uh, I, I will say Truba and Miller really struggled today. Um, you know, I liked a lot of what Adam Fox did. I liked a lot of what Lindgren did. They split up the kids in third, like I said which might be the right thing to do. Maybe it's just too much for them to handle. I mean, Brent Schneider, I, there was a, a play where he moved up um, in, the, uh, in, the, in the rush and went to the net and had a deflection and you know created some offense there. And let me just go back to Kako real quick because there was a few times during the game that I noticed him. Um, just I, I was watching him and the way he was controlling the puck and the way he was like, almost dancing around out there. And I had to watch the NHL network feed, so um, I'm not sure it was the same feed as the MSG feed, but he just looks like a different player. And I know like he's only has three points or whatever, but you could just see the confidence growing, and, and I really feel like he's going to take a, a, a nice step forward this year. And, um, you know, we'll see how that line works out. You know, I, I, I know that, I had thought about and talked to some people on Twitter, like maybe, and this will probably never happen, but maybe put Lafreniere up on the top line with Kako and Mika. And once Hedl gets back, you put Kreider back there with with Phil. Um, but, you know, we'll see. And we'll take this win. It's a big win. It's a nice step. Um, we're going to we'll just go backwards here a little bit. We'll go back to the Colorado game. You know, I thought the Rangers really got outclassed in the beginning part of that game, but I thought they fought back and showed that they could hang with Colorado. You know, they got a point out of that game. They And the power play really let them down in that game. For some reason, it just, it just looked really ordinary, predictable, whatever the word you want to use. And, uh, you know, you're losing a shootout to Georgiev and yeah, I'm really glad that guy's not here anymore. Just, he, he's kind of, I was kind of hurt, you know, oh, go from Hank to Shosturkin. I mean, if you think the Rangers made a mistake, the guy won the Vez in the trophy. Come on. So, um, yeah, I get it, Georgie. But uh, go to Colorado and, you know, do your thing out there. Complain out there. Punch out punch out teammates there. Um, but, you know, the, the shots, I just feel like the Rangers have been on a, a lot of unlucky circumstances here. Then they, they play the Islanders and, you know, I think they had 41 shots on goal and they got no goals. And I mean, they had posts and everything but a goal. And of course the Islanders went ugly. And, you know, what's happening right now is a lot like the opposite of last year where the Rangers didn't play very well, but won because of their goalie. Now they're, it seems like they're playing better, but losing. So I don't think this stretch of bad luck can continue and evidence today that they score six. Now I am not going to sit here and say they are going to score six goals every game because that, that doesn't happen in, in the NHL. But I think that the overreactions are a little bit, um, let's not go crazy just yet. So let's, you know, let's go to, to tomorrow and play tomorrow's game and then go from there. This has been a, a lot of – it's weird how they have three days off then they play three and four, then they have two days off, and then they play back-to-back. Uh, the schedule maker is just it's, – it's a little bit out of control in my opinion, but, you know, no one's going to listen to me. Um, 
it, so I'm happy they won today. I if they had lost, I would have been a lot more concerned. Of course, um, I'm, I'm just hoping that they can build on this and move on. Go out to Arizona in that little rink. That ought to be fun, interesting, and let's get a win. Go in there and take care of business, and go from there. I, I think that Gautier, uh, just because I've been thinking about this, he's got to be in the lineup. He's a guy that is a difference maker at the bottom of your lineup, and the Rangers need that. They have all the same players. You know, I like VC. I do, but with Phil coming back. And hopefully Kravtsov can and get back, and it's nothing too serious. But, you know, you get, like, a line of VC, Gautier, and Phil. That's not bad. And then your fourth line can be something like Goudreau, Carpenter, and Blay. I'm probably forgetting somebody. Um, but, you know, no Ryan Reeves. I mean, you can swap him in and out. I, I thought, you know, Sammy Blay took, took a dumb penalty today, and... But I just thought overall the, the bottom six today was better. They looked better. Let's hope they can continue that. And again, they have they got guy they got you know Phil coming back. So it was just he, he's he is a luxury. I think I've said that before right now. So it's really important for him to be able to play and stay healthy. It's just unfortunate these kids keep getting hurt. So uh, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, big win today. Rangers are 1-1-1 one, one, and one in their last three. Uh, big game tomorrow against Arizona. The Coyotes. We shall see what happens. Do me a favor. Like and subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate it. Um, and I guess we'll be talking to everybody soon. Tomorrow night we have another game. We'll be, we'll be back on. Uh, hopefully tomorrow night. It's a 7.30 game. Yeah, we should be able to do that tomorrow night. So hope you all have a great night. Giants tomorrow, big game at 425. Trying to go 7-1. and one. So uh, go Big Blue. And uh, we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Go Rangers. Bye-bye.